starters. So, indeed, Framber Valdez has become kind of one and zero to Ramon Laureano. Ramon bounces it foul. Here's the GMC defense for the Astros. Alvarez, Siri, and McCormick in the outfield. Bregman, Pena, Altuve. You come in and replace all-star shortstop Carlos Correa. And you do it the way he has. I mean, he's playing premium defense. He's right. Carlos Correa. No. But you can maybe come close to replacing the production. Well, you can make it a little easier on the fan base and sure. maybe some of the other teammates who benefit from hitting in a come out and start doing what he's doing. 2 2 pitch, off speed swing, and a miss by Ramon Laureano. In Republic. First pitch strike to Chad Pinder. He's 6 for 16 in his career against Framber Valdez. With a home lead. Up and out of the ballpark. What I remember about that. One, two pitches blocked by Maldonado. Well, as he's done before, really his entire time in the big leagues. Three and two now to Pinder with Lowry waiting. Fastball at 93 miles an hour. When you'll see Framber at times turn that. Another 3 2 to Chad Pinder. And a big breaking ball, and Pinder strikes out. You know, we, we talked about he's seen from just watching them play, and it's losing ball games like that that can do it to you. McCormick coming in, shallow right field. He's got it. Framber Valdez with a three up, three down inning. Second inning coming up. Against right handers late in the count. First pitch strike to Sean Murphy. 0.4% ground ball. Yeah. Is that good? Yeah. It's the highest to do here recently, which is lift the baseball. Right? They want to get the ball in the air, hitting hard ground balls. little bit inside. The 14 doubles are tied with Yuli Gurriel. For Three two breaking ball in the dirt and it's a leadoff walk. Three homers and nine RBIs. There you go. This is the situation where they may do it even more with a ground ball pitcher. Stay out of a double piece. Don't know how interested you are in moving him. A soft line drive. It's grabbed by Pena. So that's out number one. So here is Bethancourt. 236 with eight RBIs. Big swing by Bethancourt on an off spot. Ball bounced toward the camera well. Well, the, the, the patience with Framber Valdez and the bat or pitches are less each at bat. Bethancourt swings and misses. He chased a pitch that was noisy at 239, a couple of home runs. Got 17 RBIs pretty much every day. Well, he brings start to slow down. In first strike on 2 0. Oh. Big bouncer toward third. Bregman waits, fields it, throws across the diamond, and that will do it for the A's. Play is Joe Rudy scaling the outfield wall in left field. 0 1 
pitch to Smith and now 0 and 2. Well you got a couple of dealers on the mound today. Certainly looks that way as we can just keep these guys on the ground keep them in the ballpark. Gonna have a pretty good run opening up the season last year with a fractured finger. Happened in spring training in surrounding a guy like Framber Valdez. But when he did get healthy and got back, he was terrific. They didn't win it in that stretch was 2020, the short season when the A's won. Astros then went on to beat the White Sox in the division series three. They lost to the Braves in six games. There's Pena and the throws right on the mark to Guriel, two away. Ramon Laureano. Well, the Astros deserve a lot of credit, Dallas. They lost George Springer after the 2020 season. And after last year, they lost Carlos Correa. And don't forget that are doing what they're doing for you on the mound. You got guys like Kyle Tucker to come up and do what he's done. It's a light shot right into the glove of Guriel for out number three. So we are headed to. So bottom of the fourth and the first pitch Chad Pinder swings at it drops it foul down near the Astros one walk these do not have a hit just yet. Angels three and a half back in the West Texas seven strike three called on the inside corner. Nine and you can't look for two different pitches. Bounce toward Bregman. He waits, grabs the hop, quick throw across, and that's out number two. He's got that changeup tucked away for a rainy day. And you don't just try to wait him out. I mean, it could be a dangerous game. No on 2 0, bounced in the hole, backhanded by Pena, throws a little bit high, but Guriel reaches up, grabs it, comes down on the bag. And that is another three up, three down inning, nine and damage in the top of the fifth inning. Framber Valdez is rolling along. Elvis with a hot shot, diving play by Altuve, caught it in the air. Elvis Andrews has hit the ball as soon as you can. One and zero to Bethancourt. Bethancourt, good swing, fouls at right side. Doesn't have to throw four or five pitches, get into three two counts, and now that, that, you throw that all together and away from. So when you get him out later in the ball game, you have an idea on how to do so. Hit hard, ball comes up on Pena a little bit. He stays with it, throws out Bethancourt. So two outs here. The unpredictable Coliseum win. Unofficially, that ball cleared the wall by just four feet. It's noisy, who grounded out in the second. It may sound like we're joking about it, but actually, it may not have been a home run. Noisy's retired, and right now, Framber Valdez is the story. He's retired. First pitch to Kevin Smith is lined to the left center field. There's a hit. It's going to go through to the wall. Alvarez picks it up right at the base of the wall. And Smith has the first hit for the A's. It's a leadoff double, and Smith was not running well. Yeah, a little. Let's see what we got. And here's Christian Pache. Pache on the ground towards short. Tough little hop for Pena. And the throw to Guriel. One hop and. Better hop 
He then uses the turf, strong throwing arm. And let's not forget Guriel. And I think that gold glove is probably well deserved. Out and lined to first. And that's going to be a base hit, and the A's are going to be on the board. So Brown's going to come around, score easily. Ramon Laureano comes through the right side of the diamonds. But here's Pinder, and Pinder takes a fastball inside. Longest current streak without being no hit in Major League history. Out at second, and that's going to be a double play. So just like that, the inning comes. It was originally an error. It has been changed to a base hit. Lowry drives one to right. McCormick backs up, and he makes the catch. So on one pitch, Jed Lowry is retired. First pitch to Murphy right on the inside corner for a strike. This is just pitch number 75 coming up. Amber Valdez out. Not happening. Guys pumping strikes. But the fact that he spends the time he does around the strike zone, I mean, look at. again now it's three and one it just has not been a whole lot of three ball counts from Framber Valdez Elvis Andrus will be next 3-1 pitch and that is low so the A's get a one out base runner you can go a little random A's player or former A's player when if you thought if you thought will owned anything other Breaking ball drop. Grounded to short. And that's a double play. 6 4 3 double play, and that ends the bottom. You know the offense has got some firepower. Right up the middle. And Bethancourt is retired. Immediate action. And here's Noisy. And there's a strike. He hasn't struck out anybody since the fourth inning. Well, it doesn't necessarily have to offer on both sides because of what Framber Valdez is capable of and because of the work that we've saw Paul Blackburn put in this. You've got a really good idea of how you want to go about your business. Valdez in his last start, I hunt that a lot anymore. No, you don't. Into short. He's got it. And that's the second out. Wise. Just to see, you know, what a guy's doing. How's he bouncing back from outings? Is he getting the opportunity to get a little deeper? For the left hander. You see Seth Brown for the first time, and Brown swings and misses. Seth Brown just at bat. Probably didn't expect that. So two and two. Back cannon. That's a nice play by Guriel. He'll take it himself. Three up, three down inning for Framber. Facing Christian Pache. And the first pitch is in for a strike. Framber Valdez has one complete game in pitches. No. Something you work for. Two and two to Christian Pache. Maybe peeking at that bullpen. Doesn't want to see anybody down there. Did you ever do that? Oh, yeah. Because you got your back to it. Yeah, that pitch not close. It's in the ball game right now. 3-2 pitch, here it is, and it's not close. Pache with a leadoff walk. 
probably puts a, a cap on his outing. First pitch to Ramon is fouled straight back to the screen. And now 0 and 2 is Ramon Pepper either way. Fouled again. And that one in the dirt. Ball game late. And he gets Ramon swinging. So one away. Here's Pinder. And Pinder. Rolls the first one foul. Here with Chad Pinder. So Valdez, Framber Valdez. Pinder fouls it back to our right. One two pitch, another foul ball. Performance from a starter. High pop-up, foul territory. That's Bregman, and Bregman hustles over there and then stops and makes the catch. The one-third point of the season. First pitch to Jed Lowry is. And that one is a strike right on the outside corner. So Framber Valdez comes back and makes two good pitches to Lowry. Here it is. Little bit high, by much, to wrap up this three-game series. And that's a curveball on one, two, a swing and a miss, and that is the ball.